All right, we are at the end of the program. Final segment with Mark Dice. We're going to try to shoot through a couple more calls. Matt in New Jersey, you're on the line. What was that all about? I don't know. <laughs> Matt, you're on the line, brother. Maybe we're being listened to, bro. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Maybe it's just an issue with my uh, my guys out there. Who knows? What's on your mind, Matt? <laughs> well, um, I'm actually in the midst of watching Loose Change right now, and I, I find it very interesting because I, I watched the uh, the Zeitgeist movie, you know, like so many mm-hmm. months ago, mm-hmm. and I mean that that covered the whole the whole issue. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like the way you like, I don't know. I just think you have like a good character about it, and like you're like, all right, now check this out. And it's just like, well, which you one are you watching? Are you watching the second edition or the final cut? Probably the second edition, right? Second edition, yeah. Okay. At the moment, I'm probably going to watch the final cut next. But cool. uh, I haven't, I haven't been able to find the the real first edition, if there was one. Yeah, there know. is a first uh, edition. That's only sixty minutes, and really, it, it thirty minutes of it is in uh, Loose Change Second Edition. We took the best thirty minutes from that movie. I got and did a ninety-minute right. picture. So I mean, I know you got you know, a short amount, a uh, short mm-hmm. amount of time. So I yeah. mean, the more important things I wanted to say. Well, one was funny. Uh, you know, as far as the whole Illuminati conversation goes, uh, did you happen to know that our uh, let's see, Tom Hanks is actually related to Lincoln? <laughs> like, is, uh, seven, is he related seven to Lincoln? Cousin, I don't know. Seventh cousin, fifth remove, removed. They've actually put it on uh, on a regular media station too it wasn't even like some infowars thing it was well, like well dude everything on infowars let me just say this is always backed up by mainstream media sources or their own you know documents or whatever i mean it, it's right, very right, rare right. that we do like an op-ed piece what else you got for me real quick okay and and the last thing i wanted to ask is how can i get my music to be your intros like i mean i see you got green day and system of a down well i'm, uh-huh. I'm into hip-hop music and i don't know i think you know considering the type of topic all right listen i can't make promises my man send me some stuff on myspace tell me you called in and i'll go check out the music we'll see what happens i thank you for the call mark in closing you know what do you think the most important thing is to come away with from your material, you know, if someone reads the Resistance Manifesto, they check out the Illuminati facts and fiction. They even get, you know, the republished proofs of a conspiracy. What do they need to take away from this in a, in a couple minute segment? They need to know that by knowing that we have a machine that has been built and designed to destroy you, and by knowing how that machine works and, and who is operating that machine and how it's designed to financially destroy you, to spiritually destroy you, to socially, to emotionally, to ruin your health. By seeing what it is that we are fighting, you can more easily maneuver yourself, your friends, and your family around it and avoid most of the damages that the other zombies are going to be destroyed by. And I get emails all the time, and that's a fantastic question. What can we do? How can we fight this? Can we win? You will win by minimizing and, and maybe in some cases eliminating a large portion of the effects of the New World Order on your own life uh, by not being a, a, a just a total zombie and a slave and a, a pop culture puppet, uh, by not being a complete immoral scumbag, you know, you can avoid yourself getting uh, into situations that you wouldn't want to. And by, you know, Jesus said it, you know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And that's that's the main issue. What I want people to walk away from is to understand their enemy and to know how to, how to recognize them, how to learn about the systems that are designed to trap you and ensnare you. And by knowing about it and how it works and who is, who's operating and how the information is getting to you and manipulating society, You can then avoid the pitfalls, and you can avoid going with the flow, and you can make your life and your family's life infinitely more enjoyable and and pleasurable and safe. That's right. You can make legitimate, informed decisions about your life and the ones that you love around you. And, you know, we can still combat this. I, I believe we can win. I wouldn't be in it if I didn't think I could win it, folks. That's the bottom line. we got to step up to the plate. And take a swing. We're not perfect. We're human beings. Nobody's perfect. I'm not right all the time. Hello, friend.